Good evening and welcome. I am Pete Suka and I'm back for some more wave related videos. It's been a long time since I posted a video and there is a reason for that. I had a kid, took a lot of time, started up a business and stuff like that. So I'm back. I'm going to be trying to be a little bit more active, put, pushing out videos for the baby related, probably, hopefully in a little bit more better quality than it used to be. Today, we are going to talk about the Caliber. It's a brilliant little device from Yuval. It has its ups and downs though. So today we're going to talk about those. The Yuval Caliburn is a brilliant little device that fits almost everybody. Not everybody because people have different vape styles, right? And uh, with different vape styles there come different problems. One can have a problem where the coils don't last that long, uh, the device can leak and so forth and so forth. In my experience as a reseller and as a vapor of six plus years i've lost count honestly uh, this one is one of the most solid uh, pod systems on the market right now it does also come in a different version this is the caliburn coco not with a pot inside obviously we're just gonna compare these two today see how uh, how they're different uh, how this one is better than this one in, in certain areas and how this one is better than this one in other areas stuff like that but it's got, we're gonna try to keep this short simple and i'm gonna show you some tricks and how to get the most out of your caliber first thing first how to use the caliber it's quite simple as most of you know that have it it's one of the most simplest devices out there Although this, the Coco is a little bit more simple. It's a pot device, so basically you don't have to change the coils. The coils come, let's see here. The coils come uh, just in the pot. You just replace the pot and you're good to go. If the coils are done, that is. But uh, when you want to refill the pots, this is where it gets a little bit tricky for uh, some people that are like not strong in your fingers and stuff like that. And what you gotta do to refill it is basically just pop this black cap off. And best thing to do is just nail under, wrap around it, and pop it up. So it's not that hard. You have these uh, filling holes on either side. Just fill it up. And actually, let's do that right now. Getting a little bit empty for me. I got here the Just Deuce uh, Fusion, one of my most top flavors, uh, most favorite flavors out there. Just put it here, squeeze it up, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, with a little bit of berry mix. Bad pun, bad pun. Okay, you close it back up and you're done. You place it inside the device and you're ready to go. If you're filling it for the first time though, you go, you're going to have to want to uh, wait at least five minutes before you use it. There are two different types of coils for this. This is the one from the Coco kit. It is with the red bottom, as you can see here. And we also have one with a black bottom, which is the original Caliburn pot. For the normal Caliburn, when you place the pot in, all the thing you need to do is make sure it's turned on. As you can see, the light coming off on over here. Yes, if it would focus, it would be better for you, but uh, I'm still learning how this camera works. The light goes on, it's okay. Green light means the battery is fine. Blue light, it's about to run out. And red light, it's completely empty so you need to charge this right away if you want to use it you can either press the button to vape or you can just simply not press the button however there are some flaws with it so in my opinion the main flaw with the caliburn is the fact that for many users including myself it does tend to give quite a bit of spitback. Spitback is when the liquid spits out from the mouthpiece up into your mouth. And it can give a strong taste. If you have strong liquids, it's, gonna, it's actually gonna be quite unpleasant in the mouth. So if you are one of those uh, unlucky people like me that have this spitback issue, there's a simple fix, but it's basically a constant fix. Uh, what you gotta do if you're inside, I don't recommend doing this without a piece of paper. When you're outside, you don't need the paper at all, of course. But what you gotta do is take a piece of paper and you basically just fold it two or three times. I just grabbed some leftovers over here. 
and you place the piece of paper over the mouthpiece, hold it quite tightly around the mouthpiece, and, and you just shake like you're throwing it away. But of course you're not. When you shake it out, you're going to get a little bit of liquid into the paper. And that's the liquid that would otherwise spit into your mouth. It's not good. Sometimes it's even that aggressive that if you hit the button a little bit too early, like when you bring it to your mouth, it can even spit the liquid into your face and it's hot. It's not pleasant, no. Another common issue with the Caliburn is the fact that once it's been used for quite some time, you, you know, you tend to drop your device and all that kind of stuff. What happens is that it starts falling apart, basically, after you dropped it quite a few times. And uh, one key factor that has issues with that is this little guy over here. Let's try to... Yes, yeah, so this guy over here. This little guy that does not want to focus because it's too small. that comes out of your device with the pod. Basically, it comes like this. This little metal thing there comes out. It doesn't really matter that much if it's just one of them because it's just the magnet that holds your pod in place in inside the device. So I've used quite a few of them without this one of the magnets, but I've never had that issue where both of them fall out. Another issue is with <laughs> the button and the light. So what happens when you drop them is that the light that sticks normally out of this little hole over here, as you can see on my other device here, probably can't see it because it's so small, but it has a little light here this one doesn't and of course this one doesn't even have a button on it if you drop it and the, the light goes in you're more than likely to uh, start running into a little bit of troubles where your well basically where your button falls out because this light actually holds the device quite nicely in place and after it falls inside the device when you go and charge it what happens is that it might just start slipping through and the device might just basically come out of this case and this is one dirty bastard man well it's been lying used unused for a long time to prevent the accidental pushing the device apart when you put put it into a charger when it's starting to get a little bit dull it's basically you have to have the pot in Hold it like this when you put the charger in and you should be good to go. There's a lot of stuff like that that's going on. And uh, the last issue I want to talk about is the connection issue between the pot and the device itself. Sometimes when you place the pot in, you're not going to get any vapor out of it. It's a simple issue of just connections between these pins and these uh, golden pins inside I can show you here the golden pins inside there and the golden pins over here are not connecting properly when this happens the best thing you can do is take a cotton ear thing <laughs> whatever it's called in english i'm sorry and uh, you just basically clean out the inside of this device just also oh gently take off take out all excess liquid uh, dust and stuff like that because these parts tend to get a little bit dirty as you can see it uh, is not the cleanest once you've done that you also dry from the bottom of this put it together and it should be good to go but if you still have a little bit issues you might just have to gently press on the bottom part and the top part at the same time and just squeeze it a little bit together and you're good to go as you can hear this might sound like uh, a lot of minor issues that can make your living uh, life a living problem <laughs> well that enter the uh, coco version 2 of the caliburn a little bit different shape as you can see and uh, the beautiful thing about these devices is that the pots are 
worked for both of them. So the Cocoa part works for the Caliburn and vice versa. This one has a lot less issues. Basically because it does not have the button and light issue. There's no button on it. It just activates when you draw. Splendid. What I can basically say is that I have had this one for quite some time. And of course it's beaten up. It's not beautiful. It's like all... Yeah, I drop it a lot. But uh, it has zero issues except for the connection issue between these pins as on the other one. So of course, with the same method, you just clean it out with your ear pin thing. And... Uh, just do that regularly to keep it clean, keep the maintenance okay, or else you're gonna end up with... I don't even know if I want to show you this, but let's do it. I mean, look at this. You can see the like amount of dust that gathers up inside the top part of the device. It's uh, not pleasant. Yeah. So, clean your device regularly, keep up the maintenance and you should be good to go. I personally find that the uh, red cocoa pots work a little bit better than the black Calibran pots, which I don't have on me right now, but uh, mainly because I usually just use the red ones. The main thing I like about it, it, for me, it gives me a little bit more flavor, it gives me a little bit more vapor, and a little bit denser vapor. It's not a big difference, it has a little bit less resistance, so it gives you a little bit, like, a little bit denser and thicker vapor, and more flavor. But that does not count for everyone, so make up your own mind about that. Uh, don't go coming in here and saying, hey man, you told me that it was a great flavor and it sucks. Yeah, well, those are your taste buds and I can't control them. So, we're in a con understanding over here, right? I personally like this one a little bit better because it has the button. And I like the option of being able to press the button to vape. But I like this one more because... <laughs> doesn't fall apart as easy. My perfect combo would be to have the original Caliburn with the Caliburn Cocoa Pot. This one is by far my favorite. I've gone through a lot of them. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. And this one. And I think I have about four others up at my office. My advice to you will, if they want to improve on this, is to make slight in adjustments and improvements to the pots themselves and maybe fix the no how the button and lights are fixed to the device because it's just too too flimsy too easy to break fix the spit back or slash leaking issues you have if you have those i've never had issues like that but some people tend to do that basically the same problem but just different direction the liquid goes Fix the spitback issue and fix the button issue and the light issue and you should be good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, of me returning to YouTube. Uh, returning is maybe an understatement. Uh, this is... I, I don't have many videos up, but I'm going to try to upload at least one vape-related video every one week. I'm not sure if I can keep that promise. But that's what I'm going to try. At least once every two weeks. But I'm going to try every one week. I also started up a, uh, another YouTube channel that I'm going to work, be working on. It's not... Uh, it has like one video on it. So I'm not going to promote it right away. Uh, but that's more like common life and gaming. Slash gaming related. And I started up a Twitch channel for uh, just normal chit chat. And uh, gaming related stuff. So if you want to check that out. You can check out Beatsuka on Twitch, just head over to twitch.tv slash pizuka. Link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe and notification button down below. And I'll see you next time.